Oh yeah baby, it's time once again for another episode of This Old Outboard. Last time on This Old Outboard. Here, it's grounded to the power head. This plug's up here, it's grounded to the power head. Here's my compression tester. Let's see what we got on top. One thirty, baby. One thirty. <laughs> I like one thirty. Cool. Same thing. One thirty on the button. Beautiful. All right. Good with spark. Good with compression. So this is what I call the Indian rope trick. The Indian rope trick? What's he talking about? Every time I do this, I take a beating also. Just run down the harbor frame. Well, you know, this is what you do when you don't have the tools and you don't want to run down the harbor frame. <laughs> so, what I That's do is... That's funny, is man. Don't want to run down the harbor frame. <laughs> fit here. Very easy. Put the pick in your cylinder. Spin your flywheel around until the piston starts to come up. And it's moving. Your pick or your screwdriver. You want it on the upswing. Actually, you want it on the downswing because we're taking this off. Just about when it's coming right up, you stuff your rope in there. has to be up pretty high because if you stuff it in there too far and the piston's too low, you can shoot it right down in the exhaust and then cut the damn rope off. So I like to squeeze it up in there. You can give it a little twist. Now this is biggest rope I've used. Let's see what we got here. Now what that's doing, it's holding the piston from going in, you know, moving up and down. Gives you enough pressure to put on here to undo this damn bolt. Now if you don't get it all the way in there, It'll pop on you. You'll have to start over. Like I said, it's quick and easy. Somebody that doesn't have the tools. Indian rope trick. Now, it's giving me a little bit of problem. Rather than take a beating, I give it a beating. Beat that thing up, baby. Sometimes these things are just pop. Ooh, we don't want to go. Don't want to go. Psst, psst, psst. Little PB blaster. Sometimes I'll take the torch, give it a little heat. You're not trying to cook it, just heat it. Expands the metal. You know that. Bada bing, bada boom. That was the easy part. Everybody thinks this stuff is, you know, bing, bang, boom, man. It's not. You got a bang, bang, bing, bang, boom. All right, flywheel puller. Pain in the ass. All right, baby, flywheel puller. You don't want to go too deep with the screws because you could damage the parts on the inside. Do about half the threads on the screws. Come around, tighten them all down evenly. As you can see there, they look pretty good. And you'll know if you're off because when you start tightening this bad boy down, it'll go, you know, 
It'll go so, what? Now, stupid me pulled out my rope too soon. I should have left my rope in there. So I'm gonna have to stick my rope back in. I'm not even gonna comment on that one. <laughs> this time you want it on the lefty loose, you want it on the righty tidy. So when you screw down on this, piston's coming up. I want to go easy on this puppy. Get a little tension on it. Bouncing around a little bit. Boom, baby. Hoo, hoo, hoo. See right here? Leaking all out the back. Look at it, man, it's just leaked right down. It's amazing that this thing is even firing. Because once they leak out, I mean, it's empty. Look at this side. There you go. See in there how it's all hollowed out? All this black goop is just draining out of the thing. The thing is painted black sitting out in the sun sun just heating the inside of this thing up like an oven Ooh -wee, i bet it's 500 degrees in there looks good clean clean so no no problem with the upper oil seal now here you can see there's black stuff on the top and you can see where it just ran down here and just flowed all out. Look at it, it's all in, in the uh, cam up here. Holy mackerel. I'll bet you 50 million bucks. It's from this thing sitting out in the sun. Black hood, black motor. I think black is just so stupid for an outboard motor in the state of Florida. And then the other problem is stuff is ridiculous trying to clean off. It's the same thing on that damn 30 I had. Bad coil. Alright, I'm in my storage unit and this is what I'm looking for right here. I need that coil. This was that power head I started building from parts as parts and it should work and it's going to save me a little time on shipping and about 35 bucks the goddamn things just went up in price the last one I bought for that 30 horse was 25 bucks all right got a little chisel here and let's see what we got here oh man time to clean that baby up yeah, it's not too bad. Well, it looks like the carb cleaner is kind of doing something. And I couldn't help myself. I had to get this damn throttle cam off. It was just, look at this thing, man. Just an absolute disgusting mess. Well, I'll be damned. The uh, carburetor cleaner actually did a pretty good job. Also... I'm going to shoot a little WD-40 in here because I was spraying that carb cleaner and I don't want it to dry out my seal. Alright, got the coil in there. And I think I'm good on my bosses here lined up. See my screwdriver is not catching up, not catching on the way down, either on the coil or on the boss. Let's see if this baby's gonna line up. Oh boy. Now I know as soon as I turn this thing, it's gonna jerk. 
Yeah, I think that was Spark, baby. I think that was Spark. Let me look at it down here where I can see it better. Yep. Put that other coil in. I'm looking good on the top. All right, let's try this puppy. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> looking good, looking good. All right, so I'm looking good. I've got the spark. I've got a decent coil in there. And uh, the plate came out good. It's clean. Got to clean the rest of this thing. All right. I may or may not use this video, but I'm going to record this anyway. Now, I have a video. It's called, I'm Not Getting It. And it was in the process of building that 80s, swapping parts around, blah, 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 blah. The first video before that was called, Will This Work? Everybody said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> boil it down. No matter how I put that thing together and what I did, it did this. Now, exact same thing. <clears throat> so yesterday, I took the, the old coil out, or the new coil out, put the old one back, finagled everything around every which way possible and still that then I took a piece of masking tape wrapped it totally around every component in there to see where what who when why how may be hitting well I couldn't find anything the masking tape looked clean yet on the two magnets right on the edge it's a little spot bare metal so once again I'm not getting it what the hell is going on with these outboards it must be you know something with this system, <clears throat> these parts, defects, something. Now, I never did this before. This is the first time I've had this like this with the, with the uh, plugs out and I'm spinning it by hand. Now you can see when it comes around right there, the plate just slightly lifts up and then catches and drops back down. Now there is a little tiny, tiny bit of slop in here. I mean, minute. See that? And that's the way the other one was. Well, I took everything off, tightened everything down, did my little tap trick, which I'm gonna do on this. And I don't have time to spend three days like I did in that last video. There has to be a reason this is happening. This isn't mixed and matched parts. Um, like I said, everything is back in there that was originally in there. I can't get it any better where, you know, I didn't touch the stator, it hasn't moved. The power pack and the coil, the only thing I touched, no matter what setting I put it at, I still get this. And uh, it's mind boggling, absolutely mind boggling. In that last video, I finally got so fed up, I put all the original parts back, the plate, everything that was on that motor, and that straightened it out. But on this motor, I haven't swapped anything around. 
like I said, I never tried this before. The only thing I've done with this thing is crank it up a couple of times to test compression of spark. I'm gonna tear this thing apart one time and and see if I can fix it. Holy moly macaroni. This is the second time this has happened. Can he figure it out this time, ladies and gentlemen? Be sure and tune in next time. You never know what's gonna happen next. Follow the real life saga. One outboard at a time, baby. And get your subscription today. It's this old outboard, baby. You know the channel.